Hey, what's up guys? Dylan here from Iceberg TV. We've got some really exciting drops here from Clash Discs. I think two of these are prototypes. I don't know if they've done full production runs of these yet, but I have seen these on various websites. So go check out Power Grip USA. If you see them on there, go get them there first. You can use my discount code Iceberg10 to save 10% on anything over at their website. Any orders over $70 ship for free. Now we do also have two more rare, potentially coming out at some point, but Clash tends to send me things that they may or may not come out with in the future. And yeah, I posted on the Clash Discs uh, Facebook page and it sounded like people wanted to see a review of these. So we'll go over these Halo Discs first and then we'll talk about some of the more fun stuff. So we've got a Halo Pepper, a Halo Berry, and a Halo Cookie. Um, I really like the Clash Discs Cookie. It's one of my favorite 7502 style fairway drivers. Um, that's just kind of a staple slot that everybody should have in their bag. And I'm not calling them Halo. It says literally Halo on this disc. I think eventually they will change it to the Steady Ring because these two say Steady Ring on the bottom, but this one says Steady Halo. So maybe one of you Clash collectors out there wants the Steady Halo versus the Steady Ring. I don't know, but let's give these things a throw. I think they're going to be pretty stable across the board. I think I can pretty much go full power flat on all of these. Barry. I know Cupcake likes the berry, and if Cupcake can throw it, it's probably too overstable for me because he throws like 80 miles an hour and I throw like 60 miles an hour. Now let's try out the cookie. Flex! It was flexing to absolute perfection, I promise you. The cookie's a disc I've thrown a lot, particularly in the glow plastic. It's one of the most trustworthy 7502s on the market. And now we've got the ring or halo pepper. I'm actually gonna throw a forehand on this one. I think this is gonna be like ridiculously overstable. Oh, wow. Oh, off the pavement. That's no longer a collector's item, ladies and gentlemen. And now, for what I'm sure most of you guys are excited about, we've got the Tone Performance Technology in the soda and in the popcorn. Historically, with the popcorn, I've always found them to be relatively low profile, kind of like Warden-esque, very straight, very low profile. This thing has an absolute serious dome piece on it. And I love the more two-tone tone. So we've got the white bottom and the blue top. And then we've got the white top and the white bottom. I am very partial. I think this blue looks very, very clean. I think this is gonna be a little bit more stable than the other popcorns that I've dealt with. So let's just put it up in the air and see what happens. Tone popcorn. Oh, that's a beauty. You guys are gonna like that one. And I did see on an online forum that the Tone sodas are likely to be a little bit more stable than the prototypes were. I actually haven't thrown a soda since the prototype and I could release that thing on like this much hyzer up in the air and it would like turn and flex. Um, we're gonna pretend that what I read is true. We're gonna go nice and flat and see how she flies. Uh, it flies exactly like a Crave. That thing bombs, whoa. To get to where that landed on the other tee up there, that golf tee is right around 400 feet. And to my understanding, the soda is a six speed. So that thing absolutely goes. Go get those discs over at Power Grip USA. If you don't see it on there, then go check them out over at Clash Discs. Use my discount code, save money, get yourself something nice, free shipping on orders over $70. Go check out my signature disc, disc golf bag, the Berg Sport V4. I use the minty green, but we also have black. Use my discount code ICE20 to save 20% on those. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I appreciate you very much and take care.